Hello everyone, another wee Sunday afternoon, another wee video. Uh, my thanks to all the staff and the pupils for their input. Now Lorna's once again put a selection of clips together showing what's going on in the lessons and I, I have to say that the Volcanoes lesson in particular brought back uh, my own childhood memories of school and it's that type of interactive lesson that will no doubt stick with our kids. As you know, I'd like to take the opportunity to personally thank anyone who gives up their time to help us and Although they're mentioned later in the video, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to say thanks very much to Marion in the library, to Mark for his career's input, and to our Gaelic speaking guests that were in this week, to Donald, to Christine, to Rhoda and to Donald, and of course to Mary, who was nipping along the corridor and continuing with extra transition opportunity. Now it's World Book Day next week, uh, but sadly I'll not be able to take up the opportunity to come in my baffies, as I'm going to have to stay in Oban this week and prepare for an inspection. Yep, the HMI are back, and this time they're specifically looking at curriculum. And of course, that's an open anti as the curriculum is one and the same almost. And on the subject of curriculum, my thanks to Argyll and Butte Council for nominating us for the Scottish Educational Awards in the innovation category. That's been done because they believe that the breadth of opportunity and the success in digital learning is one to be proud of and to be recognised. I'd also like to recognise the part that our youngsters play in the design of the curriculum, not only in its overall shape through pupil voice, but also because what we do inside our lessons. And the nursery's even got a great example of how we have a degree of independence and individuality in shaping those lessons. And that's repeated through the video, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, enough for me, I'm going to pass to the staff, going to pass to the kids and they can show you more. So thanks very much everyone and I'll see you all soon. Here's what's been happening in primary this week. Miss Rankin's class have been learning about the causes and effects of volcanic eruptions. They learned to identify the places around the world where earthquakes and volcanoes are most common, how volcanoes are made and to identify different types of volcanoes and eruptions. They discussed the impact of volcanic eruptions on people and the environment and created their own model volcanoes to simulate a volcanic eruption. Mrs McKinnon took her class over to the library on Tuesday. They enjoyed having time to look at the books and were able to choose one to borrow to read at home. They'll be visiting the library fortnightly this term and thank you to Marion for her support with this. This week was Gaelic week and we had a few special visitors in school for a Gaelic story session each day at lunchtime. Thank you to Donald Meek, Kirsteen Connor, Rhoda Meek, Mary Forbes and Donny Campbell for giving up their time to share some stories with our pupils. More in time. Next week we're celebrating World Book Day on Thursday the 2nd of March with a Teddy and Slippers Day. We're asking pupils to bring a teddy and their slippers with them to school on Thursday. Our pupil reading leaders are planning some fun activities for all the pupils to take part in. Welcome to Tyree Nursery News. This week we've moved on with the way in which we register the children in the nursery. The children designed and created a model of themselves and on arrival at the nursery they find and move their model from the I'm at home tray and move it to I'm in the nursery tray. They then count how many children are in the nursery and check it against the number of models that are in the I'm in the nursery tray. The nursery children have all engaged in making choices each day. They vote for the story they would like to listen to by moving a voting brick in front of their choice. They also choose their snack by selecting pictures on a choice line. And of course, they choose all the activities and experiences they wish to take part in each day. It was Shrove Tuesday this week and the children wanted to mark the day by following the tradition of eating pancakes. They had a choice of wonderful fresh fruit toppings and each child made their own decisions about how they would decorate and then eat their pancakes. They helped each other set the table and they made their choices from fruit that they had helped to cut and select. I think the children made a great job of helping each other, setting the table, sharing the fruit and using knives to spread and tongs to pick up small items. Well done everybody. This week we had a focus on expanding the children's digital literacy skills. Apart from using the iPads to record video clips, they also joined their very first video call. They were able to accept the call, take part in the meeting and then end the call afterwards. Well done everybody. It's time for change in our nursery garden. 
Following a huge discussion with the children, they decided what changes they would like to see. Our school contractors are currently making the nursery a new sandpit and also a large covered porch area so that the children can change their shoes, take off their coats after they return from outside. We'll tell you about more changes next week. This week, the children wanted to say goodbye on their video. So here they are. In Jack and Shaw, Vatan School Gamasa, Vach Shach Nachro, S3 Colorine. S3s are away at Lochiel Outward Bound Centre this week, so we're really looking forward to hearing all about their adventures next week. On Friday, Rhoda Meek came in to talk to the YPI groups about running her own business, Tyree Tea. The pupils got some very useful advice on how to market and sell the story behind their chosen charities. So thank you very much, Rhoda, for taking the time to come in and share your expertise with our pupils. S5 reports are going home next week. Exams aren't so far away now, so keep focused to make sure that you're on target for the grades that you need. And Mark Herberson, our careers advisor, will be in in a few weeks' time to help with future planning. Sinead von Ardskoll, Chiri and Drast. For all our parents with children in the nursery, I'm now starting my work experience leading towards my Child Development College course. Next week, I'll also be attending the March Area Committee People Voice at Corn Halls with the Senior Leadership Team at Open. Hope you all have a great week. During lunchtime in the run-up to our senior exams, the music room will be available for students to practice in on Tuesday and Thursday. Also for our science students, on a Wednesday after school, Mrs Martin will be running science support. This week, new windows are being put into the majority of the classrooms and we would like to thank all the others that are involved. 